Scorpio, hey, 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 welcome back to Padilla K, the goddess palace, y'all. I'll be doing April 2021. We're going to see what's going on with y'all. Let's get to the bag. Let's see what's going on, y'all, all right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for growing the family, evolving, loving, laughing, learning with me, all right, y'all? You know we've been on a whirlwind. We in April 2021. How are y'all feeling? So let's see what's going on. I'm going to do um, a personal affirmation card for the month of April. I'm also going to give you guys the dates intuitively. That's going to be significant for you. And we're going to go ahead and get into the reading, y'all. All right? If you guys are interested in my yoni themes, my yoni oils, my energy readings, my sage crystals, okay? Central attraction oils, money oils, prosperity protection kits. All that information is in the description box below, baby. All right. So the dates that I'm getting for you guys, Scorpio, April 5th, 8th, 13th, 17th, 19th, 20th, 22nd, 24th, you'll grow beautifully in your own way. You'll grow beautifully in your own way. You'll grow beautifully in your own way. So a lot of you guys, I feel like there's a need for you guys to take time to, uh, this is like grow yourself. Some of you guys are also feeling good, beautifying yourself. This can be like your appearance, your hair. But I'm also getting you guys are realizing like when you go your own way with something, Scorpio, it's better. So I feel like this is like you taking your own path, you taking your own journey here. It's going to also be you doing something by yourself, okay? All right, let's see what's going on, Scorpios, collectively. King of Michael. I'm going to read it both sides because it came. I'm just going to read it both sides because that's what Spirit is telling me. A lot of you guys are needing to, um, this is so shocking, communicate. Stand your ground, okay? Whatever you're working on, whatever you're trying to work on, there's a need for you guys to go forth in that here. I'm also getting like your angels are going to be telling you to have open communication. Express yourself. Be honest with the people around you, with friends, with family, with whoever, okay? I feel like there's also a journey that you're having to take and you're having to use your use your mind, use your thoughts, use your communication. Is this what I want to do? Is this where I want to go? Okay, but I'm also getting there's a need for you guys to make the right decisions. Some of you guys are going to be uh, making emotional decisions, not thinking clearly here. I'm also getting some of you guys may not be on the right path, and there's a need for you guys to be redirected. Or you guys will be redirected onto the right path. I'm also getting this can also be friends, social groups, or whatever. It's like you're needing to communicate, you need to be honest. Some of you guys are not really speaking out or being authentic within self. It's also what I'm hearing. So there's a need for you guys to stay in your integrity and ask yourself, is this what I'm doing? Is this what is this what is really where my heart is? Is this really what I feel like this is where I want to be or this is what I want to do is what I'm hearing, okay? So whatever side of you on, Scorpio, either you're doing the right thing or you're not and you're going to stagnate and you're having to be redirected, okay? So take what you need, leave the rest, not everything's going to be for you, period, doc. Let's see what's going on. All right, let's see what's going on, Scorpios, collectively. Thank you. Three through three is also significant. This has to do with your creativity. Yeah. Let's see. Eight of Cups reverse. You guys know that you need to walk away from something, but I feel like you guys aren't, or you guys are choosing not to walk away from something. I'm also getting there's a need for you guys to rest. There's a need for you guys to take the God and God effect that you need to. Some of you guys are realizing that a missed opportunity with a collaboration or corporation here, or this is like a partnership, a contract. Something's not really going well, or you guys may be working for somebody, or may have been working for somebody for three years, three months here, and you're realizing you're not getting what you deserve. Is what I'm getting. Like, the money that you expected you're not getting, okay? But I feel like something's also a missed opportunity because you didn't communicate or because you didn't say your truth, all right? I'm also getting six of wands of verse. You guys can be looking at a contract. It's like something that you signed. It's like it's not going well or it's not going the way that you expected to. Or it's like you and two other people may have put time, energy, and effort into something. And you're realizing that something's a missed opportunity here. And you're wanting to walk away from something, but I feel like you feel stuck. Or you feel trapped here. The Empress is in reverse. And I feel like you're questioning your creativity. Like what's next or what you should do. But I'm also getting it's like this can also be a mother. A mother figure. It's like a missed opportunity with somebody. With a collaboration with corporation here. Or with some type of project. I feel like there's unknown situations that are happening. That's going to make you make you feel like things are not happening the way that I need to. You could be unhappy. 
and there's a need for you guys to balance out your emotions here as well. Temperance is like transformation. There's a need for you guys to transform. Some of you guys that need to change is like change your contract or change the people that you're hanging with, change the people that you're doing business with. It's like change something. Because I feel like this is also you trying to go into business with somebody and you could be upset that somebody doesn't want to go into business with you. Or it's like you are you could be upset that a contract didn't give you what you deserve here as well. And you may be having to save your money here, but I feel like there's something new that's coming towards you here. Or it's like whatever money that you do have, you have to save it. Yeah, and I feel like you're, you're realizing that you need to master. It's like you need to master yourself, Scorpio. Some of you guys are going through a shift in your money. Some of you guys may be realizing that these things are happening so that you can change yourself, transform yourself. It's like emotionally something is still needing to be healed or worked on. Nobody's perfect. But I feel like when it comes to some type of contract, it's going to be a boss, a career, a corporation, some type of business idea. It's like you're needing to master, either master your craft. It's like... You got to put more time in. You got to put more something in. It's like something's not going to work just because you put three weeks or three days or three months into something. Okay? But I'm getting that there's a new opportunity. So there's a new opportunity that's coming towards you once you master master your emotions. Okay? Once you actually look at yourself, actually look at yourself, but I'm also getting dark night of the soul your shadow side. So some of you guys are having to go through some type of shift or change because you're having to master who you are. But I definitely feel like things are happening the way that it needs to. Divine timing, divine order. Yeah, six of cups. And there may be things from the past that may be popping up so that you can realize, like, some of you guys are may also need to ask for help as well. But I'm also getting there's things from the past that may have to do with a mother. That may be popping up. So some of you guys may be dealing with situations with a mother or feminine energy here. And it's like you're needing to heal that or you're needing to realize something. Some of you guys can also be asking or questioning your passions or your what you should do here. I'm also getting you could be revisiting the past or reflecting on the past here. And you could be realizing that you may have been able to be abundant with these people, with this person. You can also be looking at somebody from your past as like they're very affluent, wealthy, successful. And you could be trying to figure out how you can become successful, stable, independent. There's a need for you guys to ask for help. Again, is what I'm saying. Ask for help. I don't know if this is like you not wanting to ask for help or some of you guys are wanting to do something on your own. But it's a it would be good, Scorpio, for you guys to ask for help if you need it. All right? So, peace, love, and light, Ashe. I love you guys like I love myself.